Hey guys, how's it going? Of course, the second I hit record, um, I get a text, so I'm going to have to say, <laughs> um, let me just say I'm shooting my video, I'll be with you in a moment, or 20. Okay, anyway, happy Monday guys, I'm actually going to shoot, cheers to you, in my favorite Lake Tahoe. Okay. Oh, I wish I was in Lake Tahoe right now. Anyway, here's the deal. I'm actually going to shoot this vlog on Monday and upload it on Monday. Who was giving me crap about that? Oh, actually, I think it was you, Dutch, that was saying, what's up with you shooting videos on Friday and uploading them on Tuesday? He didn't say it that way, of course. I just like to imitate people. Um, anyway, I wanted to shoot this video with a very something that you probably haven't heard from me in a while, a specific topic. So I'm gonna put it out there and hopefully I'll remember it in a minute because I'm about to digress about the birds. It's, the key word is recipe. <laughs> it's too bad I can't give myself like a, a whiteboard right here to remember what I was gonna talk about. I think I'll get back, I'll get back to that. Um, what else have I forgotten that I have been um, made aware of? Mr. Flo, I'm so sorry that I have not done that for you in a while. Um, shoulder was a little bit hurting the other day, but I'm fine. Also, did you notice I have a little color? Went tanning, feeling a little better. Um, and then one other thing too, no, I'll get, that'll be part of, so many of you guys have been writing about my new diet plan, what supplements I'm taking, and um, vitamins and stuff like that. But I brought that up on the counter so I can share that with you. Um, so again, cheers to you Monday morning. Um, just a quick animal update, because I know you guys are all curious about this. Um, yeah, um, I've actually had to have some people out here to the house because last week, I forget what night it was, I was working really late in my office and apparently there are either squirrels or mice in my heating system. And furthermore, I might add, what day was it that I did this? Was it Monday? One day last week, I finally took my blasted car to get the um, oil change because, and I don't know if I've shared this on one of my videos, but at Thanksgiving, I was saying to the male members of my family, do any of you know anything about cars? Because for some reason, when I get in my car and I start my car, it smells like dead fish. And of course, everyone in my family is like, dead fish. And of course, they're like, you know, my dad or somebody was probably like, have another one, Kelly. <laughs> Smells like fish. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I finally went and got my oil changed because my car was due for an oil change. Shoot, do you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to show it to you. So you guys need to hold on for just one second, okay? Be right back, be right back. see that this is from Firestone and maybe I can show this to you through the bag because I really don't want to take this out. This is like a crime scene. Can you guys see this? Do you see that? Those are holes in my car's air filter. And do you also see what's at the bottom? Bird seed? Do you see that? They were making a nest in my car and I had to pay an extra $50 for a brand new air filter, which normally is not replaced until you're at 30,000 miles. My car is at 7,000 miles, but because these ass wipes were in my car making a nest and peeing on this, I might add, which is what smelled like fish, um, that's what we've got going on. So wherever I've moved apparently is um, like rodent happy hour. <laughs> there are hawks and possums, and the possum was back yesterday. Yes, I went out to go fill my bird feeder and the blasted possum was back, which let me tell you, there is not a more disgusting looking animal than a possum. Well, I'm sure there is probably, but those are one of the most vile, disgusting looking creatures on the planet. And it was out there looking at me like, it, it made me almost want to, like that. So here's the thing, when got my own change, I told the guy when I went in there and I know he was looking at me too like, oh, Exhibit A, woman says there's dead fish in her car. Send this one to the loony bin. And then the guy comes out and he goes, you're right, there were dead animals in your car. 
and he said that every time I started the car and the air was going through the filter, that was the fishy smell. So that's what's been going on with the um, rodents and animals going out here. So A, I'm now parking my car in the driveway until we set traps in my garage because otherwise they said when you pull your car into your driveway, if it's warm, they will climb up in there and make nests. How disgusting is that? I'm sharing this with you guys so you can learn. Um, yeah, and then we have to figure out how they're getting up on the roof and climbing into the heating system from the roof. From the roof, people! Welcome to my life. I seem to attract a lot of animals. That could be metaphoric or reality. Realistic, whatever. Anyway. And I also bought a brand new bird feeder that is squirrel proof and I'm looking out there right now because what kills me is the squirrel proof, squirrel proof bird feeder is being ignored and they still keep going to the old bird feeders that are empty. It's like, can you not see the brand new bird feeder? Things like this upset me, kind of like people that don't follow directions. <laughs> Many of you don't know what I'm talking about, but let's just say these are the things that keep me up at night and make me need Botox. So, back to focus. Can you believe I'm actually remembering what I'm gonna share with you guys? So, I shot a vlog late last week and I didn't upload it. Why? Because I'm shallow and I thought I looked fat and pale. So, I'm just putting that out there. That's why I didn't upload it. So here I am in my bright blue, potentially a little bit more tan, feeling a little, well, still shallow, <laughs> but feeling a little less. I don't like that view of myself. Um, so, Wanted to tell you guys that, you know, I, this, this week is the week where I officially am starting my, my new program where I am monitored by two fine gentlemen from Fitfluential. Number one, on my diet side, and I always use quotations, not because I want to be annoying. Clearly, I'm plenty annoying. But I use the quotations because this is more of, I, I'm always... While we are restricting certain things for a certain amount of time, for a certain time period, so I guess in some ways it is a diet for a certain amount of time period. I, I hesitate to use diet because um, I do think that that's what tends to get many people, myself included, um, off track. Is when you think you're on a, you know, you can only eat this, you can't eat that. Skin's peeling. Um, so I'm using diet because it's really just, it's really simply taking the way I'm eating and putting a little bit more of a plan to it which I'm going to get to in a second because it's something I've noticed about myself the past three days just as I'm really transitioning into this and I think it might be helpful to you guys because the more that you can check this out about yourself and figure things out about yourself you can realize that wow you know here's what I've really been doing wrong like it's like like I said before quite often all of us we always underestimate how much we eat, we always overestimate how much we work out, and then we bitch and moan and whine why we haven't lost that five pounds, that 10 pounds, that 20 pounds, that 50 pounds, whatever, or why we haven't built the muscle that we want. There's, there's a reason for everything. So you have to be able to take a step back and really look at yourself and go, okay, here's what I want, and this is where that term recipe is coming into town. It's like, look at what you want. There's a recipe for you that is gonna get you where you wanna be. If you want this option over here, or this option over here, if it's muscle building, if it's weight loss, if it's both, it, it's not like you can say, well, you know what? Here's what I wanna do. I wanna lose all of this fat that I have. I wanna build muscle, but I only wanna work out twice a week. I wanna be able to eat all that I want and drink three times a week. That's not the way it goes. It's like you can't go to <laughs> you can't go to Wendy's drive-thru and say, hi, yeah, I'll have a number one combo. I'd like extra mayo, a large fry, large Diet Coke, and can you make sure that has um, 250 calories and nine carbs and no saturated fat? Thanks. It's not the way it works, okay? If you want a certain whatever, You've got to put in the work and, and, and there's a recipe that goes with that for each one of us. And that recipe is unique for each one of us. Some of us might require, I'm speaking metaphorically here, people. Some of us might require more salt. Some of us might require more flour. Um, it's different for each one of us. And that's where that this whole like tweaking thing comes in. You have to figure out what it is for you. For me, it might be X amount of cardio, X amount of weights. It might be eating six times a day, it might be eating four times a day. It might be X amount of protein more. I have no doubt that Mike, Dr. Mike Roussel, who is handling my um, diet, 
and <laughs> I almost said Lara Bar. I have no idea where that came in. I, why was I thinking about a Lara Bar? I didn't even eat Lara Bars. Danielle, you're haunting my vlogs. Todd Bumgardner is the guy who is, uh, both of these guys are, that blasted squirrel is up on there again. Um, seriously, hold on. Get on the car! I will hurt you. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that, but he actually jumped up on the new wire thing. It's pissing me off. <sighs> anyway, Todd Baumgartner, I'll put the links up to this stuff, is handling my training program. He's designing my training program. I had to go out, did I mention this in a vlog already? I had to go out in my garage, set this up as a tripod, and, and take a video of myself doing an overhead squat in two different forms, one with feet flat on the ground and one with my feet, the heels elevated, um, so that he can, I don't know what he's analyzing, but he's analyzing something about my form. Powerful force. I know you're going to say something about that. Um, anyway, so these these two guys are going to, you know, they're designing a diet plan for me and they're designing my weight training. And I have to report into them, which is clearly what I need. I have to report into them weekly on, am I, you know, to tell Dr. Mike, what am I eating? Am I taking my supplements, which I'll get to in a second, um, on my workout plan, um, that I'm doing it, that I'm doing it as prescribed and so on or as designed thing is, there's two things that I've realized about myself. I went grocery shopping end of last week and the diet plan that Mike has designed for me is not that, you know, we're basically taking my, my paleo approach, if you will, um, further restricting carbs. So in other words, I won't be having things like sweet potatoes on a regular basis because he wants me under, if I'm correct, 50 carbs. And this is, this is temporary more, more aggressive carb restriction for a certain period of time, specifically for my fat loss goals, okay? And then we weave into, um, you know, I would get more carbs when I'm more maintaining, but I think you guys know, you know, I've, I've been at a certain point, you know, I've lost a little weight and then I stay there and then I lose a little weight and then I stay there and I kind of just am staying here. If I want to get down here and, ch and, you know, chisel this core and start working on, you know, more muscle building, this is what I have to do, and this is somebody who's clearly an expert. So, um, following that, I have to report in on my on my workouts and on my on my diet. But the past, just the past three days alone, and I'm sharing this with you guys because I'm sure that a ton of you that write me are in the same boat, and you don't even realize it. So much of what's keeping us from the results that we want, I don't. I'm sure that many of you are like me. You don't even realize how much you're messing up. Like, the past three days have shown me that I've gotten in a habit this, this year, it might be whatever, I really do not eat regular meals. I, I mean, to, to realize how much the past several days it has been a, I don't wanna say a struggle, that little son of a bitch. It has been, he's up on my blast, it's, ugh. It has been such a struggle for me to go, ugh, like, I think I shared with Mike that I had scrambled eggs for breakfast. He's like, where are your vegetables? I'm supposed to have vegetables at every meal. It, do you know how annoying it is for me? Sorry, Dr. Mike. It's so annoying for me to go, oh, I have to add chopped up vegetables, like stuff like that. I am, I'm, it's, I'm so used to rushing through my day. I'm so used to not planning. I'm so used to not thinking that I run in here or I'm at the airport and I, I make the best choices, right? So if I'm at the airport, I'll get something that is, you know, beef wraps with, you know, this, that, or the other. I'm not eating balanced. I'm not planning out my day. I'm not looking at the end of the day going, have I had enough to eat? Have I had a balanced diet? Have I taken my vitamins? It's so easy to get into a habit where you're kidding yourself. You think, okay, yeah, I'm eating, I'm making healthy choices. You know what? I had a steak with vegetables the other night. I had chicken there. I had, you know, uh, scrambled organic eggs for breakfast with my black coffee. Or It's very easy to think you're okay. And then you realize you're looking at that recipe and you're, you're looking at the results you want and you're not there. And you're looking at the recipe, you're like, oh crap. I didn't put the vanilla in. I didn't put the baking fl flour, baking soda. I can't talk this morning. Um, oh, I forgot to put the chocolate chips in. 
You can't make chocolate chip cookies if you don't have all of the ingredients together. This is not like a game. This is, you, know, you could look at it as a game, but I'm realizing more and more, this has just been the past three days when I'm trying to get to my report at the end of the day where I'm telling Mike, I've eaten these three meals, this snack, I've taken, I've had my, sh my protein shake. You guys, it is like such work for me to fit in balanced meals. That's ridiculous, but I think a lot of you guys are in that same boat where you get in the habit, if you're at an 80 hour a week job, if you travel a lot, if you're a mom with kids and you're out and about, you can get in this, this habit where you're used to grabbing you know, some almonds here and, and a cheese stick there and, and you're like, okay, I'm making the best choices. But if you don't really start taking a step back and planning it out and then it takes a while. It takes a while to get yourself in that habit. I've told you guys, it's taken me a while to get in the habit of getting my ass in bed by 11 as opposed to 1.30 so that I can get up at 6 or 7 as opposed to 8 or 9. You know, you have to do that for a while and your body gets used to it. Like this. This is going to take me a while to get used to. I can't just make scrambled eggs in the morning. I have to make scrambled eggs with spinach, with mushroom, with vegetables so that I have vegetables in that meal. Does that annoy me? Yes. Is it worth it for the results that I want? Heck yes. So I guess what I'm telling you guys, and then I'll go over um, this really quick because I want to keep this under 20. Um, you've got to put, if you, if you want those results, whatever your results are that you want, you have to realize you can't customize what you want to do for those results. You want those results, this is the work you have to do. And I've told you guys this a million times. I'm getting kind of animated about this because it was a big moment of like, oh, I have been around enough incredibly talented and incredibly fit people this year. And all of the people, so all of you that haven't reached your goals yet, don't look at those people that you see in your life or on magazines and books, whatever, and think they have it easy. They figured it out. They're fit all the time. They work at it. They're still working at it. If you look at Kathy Friedrich and you, you've seen the DVDs of hers that I share, Kathy is not, I've had lunch with her several times. You know what, she doesn't sit and have lunch and have like eight cheeseburgers like some models and go, oh yeah, I eat whatever I want and I'm also five foot 11 and I weigh 98 pounds. I can't gain weight if I tried. I have yet to meet one person like that. The people I met up at Reebok, up at the uh, CrossFit One Thing, they're eating salads, they're eating paleo, they're working out every day. If you want those results, there's a certain mixture that you have to do, and if you haven't done that mixture, meaning your supplementation, your meals, the, the right amount of working out, the right amount of rest, you're not gonna get it. So don't bitch and moan and complain unless you've put all the work in to get what you want. And maybe you look at that and you go, okay, I don't ever wanna I don't want to be, I want those results, but if that means I can never go out with my friends and, and have wine, if that means I can never have chocolate, I'll settle for a little bit less. You know, you've got to decide what you want. There is a recipe for everything. And just transitioning the past three days to eating more balanced meals is telling me how much I have not been eating balanced meals. I have been going through this year making good choices and I'm not, I'm not eating balanced meals at all. That's changing. Um, but it's just this moment of awareness of like, oh crap, here I am whining that I'm not getting the results I want, and yet look at how I'm eating. You guys, I'm, I'm reactive eating. I'm just going through the day going, oh, what do I, I only have time, let me just make some eggs, or let me just grab a protein shake. And then I get to the end of the day, it's like, where's my vegetables, where's my fruit, where's my balance? Nothing. You can't complain about your results if, you, if you're not, designing a roadmap for yourself. So really quickly, I need to be under 20 minutes because I just, 20 minute vlogs. How did we get here, people? Because I never shut up, that's why. Um, you guys have been asking what I'm taking. Very simply, and I'll put this up on my blog, kellyalexa.com. I take my um, multivitamins. I take, so this is, I, luckily, you know, I use the GNC pack right now. Um, I also use uh, GNC, this is the, Genetics HD program. I take two out of three. Um, ProSculpt is what I take before my workouts. Branch chain amino acids are what I take after my workouts per Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike told me one of these is not enough. I need two. So I take one, if I'm correct, I'm not looking at my cheat sheet. One of these with breakfast. I take one of these with lunch or dinner. Um, so I double up on that. Um, 
And then there's a zinc, I think it's zinc magnesium that I take at night before bed. Um, but I'm doing three meals a day, one snack or protein shake, and then pre and post work on nutrition is pretty, pretty much where I'm at. But I'm very excited. I've obviously figured out, you know, again, just the past three days of trying to transition, not trying, getting, you know, transitioning my diet and, and just trying to follow what I need to follow was a huge wake up moment for me because it just made me realize how bad my eating has been this year. You guys, your eating can be bad even if you're not having cheeseburgers and pizza and candy bars every day. Your eating can be bad even if you're not out of the bar drinking every night. Your eating can be bad as well, even if you just don't have a plan. You know, if you're not eating enough and then you're working out, that can be just as bad as pigging out and not working out at all. Trust me. And now that I'm trying, you know, getting myself into a completely different plan, I'm realizing I'm, it's painfully clear to me how much I have not been doing. But you know what? Whenever you realize something bad like that about yourself, it's good because that's an opportunity. And that means I'm that much more excited about my results because knowing how lax I have been in that area, imagine what it's gonna be like a month from now when I have followed exactly what I'm supposed to do. Imagine that, and with my workouts. Anyway, I of course went over 20 minutes, I gotta go. I will see you guys later. Have a great Monday and um, yeah. <laughs>